Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I'm doing my 14 week pregnancy update. Now I will admit that this update is a bit late. I'm actually filming this closer to 16 weeks. So there'll be two updates pretty close together, but I still had written down notes for 14 weeks and I still didn't want to miss out on remembering what I had been happening during 14 weeks. So here we are, I'm very out of breath and very late, but nevertheless, here we are. Let's get right into this update. This pregnancy has just seemed like it's flown by so fast. I cannot even believe that I'm 14 weeks. It feels like that first trimester went, like the first little while went by so slow because I just look forward to being bigger. And then now that I'm, you've just been so busy that it's just like insane how fast it's flown by. I'm literally, I still have been telling people that I'm like, 11 or 12 weeks. I'm like, no, now I'm 14 weeks. <laughs> but we've just been so insanely busy that I haven't even really felt the baby move much since my last update that I shared with you guys. I know the baby's fine. And if I will sit still and like stay awake, I know I will feel the baby. I'm not at all worried about it because it's just early enough that I don't feel the babies all the time right at this point anyway. So I'm not at all concerned. I just think it's funny how it was Sophia's pregnancy. I was so intent on feeling every single move and then a little less with Jimmy's and a lot less with this one because we have been preparing our house to move. We're almost through this free bot. We've been here for three years remodeling this 100 plus year old farmhouse. It has been a lot of work. Luke has changed almost every single thing in this house. So. Now we're at the point where it is like so almost done. There's like a few random things and the cleanup. So I have been taking all sorts of stuff to the storage unit. I've been rearranging the upstairs room, rooms. I've been so excited about this that I've just been moving heavy things by myself. And my back's been out like all the time because I've been moving heavy things by myself pregnant. It's not good, but I'm so stubborn about this sort of stuff. And I'm way too excited to wait till the weekends when Luke can help me. But all that to say, by the time I go to bed at night, I don't even have any energy to lay there and feel the baby move. Because at this point, you kind of have to like really be paying attention more so. So as soon as I go to bed, I just fall asleep. So there's been not really any feeling the baby lately, which is a little bit sad, but that's all right. There was even one day coming up to 14 weeks that I forgot I was pregnant for like a whole day just because I was so busy all day and then when I'm trying to move stuff and like load stuff in the car bring stuff down the stairs while I'm watching a toddler and a, another baby and still cooking all of our meals from scratch and still trying to keep up with videos and all this stuff I'm just like so there's just so much I it just like it blocked out one of the important things I just like totally forgot I was pregnant for an entire day it was ridiculous in a way that is almost nice for the beginning of pregnancy though because in the beginning, when you're not really like feeling them all the time, I really look forward to feeling them like all the time and being really big and like having them kick you in the ribs. Like I really love the bigger point in pregnancy. So it's like almost like a blessing in disguise that I'm just like keeping myself busy enough that I don't just focus on the pregnancy all the time. It's like making it easier in a way to just, you know, I'm just living my life I'm just living a normal life. I haven't even gone back for another prenatal appointment. I've only had the one in nine weeks. It's just like a normal thing. I'm pregnant, we're gonna have a baby, but we're still living life. I don't know. I'm a little bit sad that we're so busy that I can't like notice everything this time, but it's also for the beginning of pregnancy when I would just kind of be feeling impatient to get to the end of pregnancy, it's kind of a little bit nice. Do you guys understand what I mean? I don't feel like I'm explaining this very well. I got all my new maternity jeans and I really like them. There's one pair in particular that is really cool that's just got a little section of elastic on the sides, but it doesn't have the tummy panel. So it's just got like regular jean material that comes up to a little bit higher than a regular waist, but it also has like a button and a zipper and belt loops, which is awesome. <laughs> I always wished that my other maternity jeans had belt loops because at the beginning, 
a pregnancy, I almost could use a belt on them. But then as I get bigger, you know, I don't really need a belt at that point. So I really like that style. There's another one that's got belt loops, but it does have a tiny panel, which is nice. And then there's another one that has a tiny panel but no belt loops. It's more like the ones I've always had. But it's definitely nice to have more than one pair of jeans to wear so I don't have to go to town in yoga pants, which I just feel like I'm in my pajamas when I'm getting, wearing yoga pants. I've been having the hardest time remembering to take my prenatal vitamins and any of my other supplements also <laughs> because it's not just because I'm too busy to remember. Partly, well, because I have them all, I have like five days worth in these little cups laid out on the windowsill, so I see them every time I go in the bathroom. So the remembering them isn't the problem. It's that they make me feel so nauseated to think about taking them because they made me so nauseated when I was still in the first trimester, and I still feel like they're going to make me nauseated. I'm like a little bit traumatized over them. So they'll, I feel nauseated when I think about taking them, so I just like avoid it until I do actually forget, and then I just don't take any of my pills for that day. And it's, I really just need to get over it and start taking them again and realize that now that I'm through the first trimester, they're not gonna be as bad as they were before. So I need to get back on taking all my supplements, and I need to also start taking my raw cow liver pills that I made for myself that are in the freezer. Those I completely stopped taking for like the whole first trimester because they made me so sick. It was horrible. But I just need to get over myself now and start taking them again. So last time I filled you guys in completely on all my tooth problems I've been having. They haven't gotten worse really. I mean, this one up here, it'll like, every now and then if I bite down, it'll like hurt for a second. Like kind of a dull, which it didn't used to do that before, so I feel like it's kind of getting worse, but it's not anywhere near as bad as the one down here that I had to have a cold. This one doesn't ever really hurt unless I, like, it sometimes hurt when I floss it. And then both of those places have been sensitive to like cold and hot drinks for years. So that's not really a new thing. So I'm just relieved that they haven't started hurting as badly as that one did before. But I'm also thinking of just calling that oral surgeon who pulled this tooth or the dentist who took the x-ray for that tooth. And just seeing if uh, I can get in for an x-ray like soon because I don't really want to wait until May when I have an appointment with that other dentist. I just feeling like if something's wrong with them, I want to know now if I can fill the cavities before they get so bad that they have to be pulled. So I'm just like, I was up in the middle of the night thinking about this a couple weeks ago. It kept me up so long because I was just so worried about it and at that point I couldn't even call anyone anyway so it was stupid to be up worrying about it. Even though the dentist I have an appointment with in May, I'm still gonna keep that appointment and go and like establish care there because a lot of my family members go there. I know she's more, she doesn't push fluoride. She's more naturally minded. So I want to establish care with someone down here local because my old dentist is like an hour away and they're really flaky. So I'm not gonna keep going up there, which it just, I, I still want to establish care with this dentist, but I need someone else to take the x-rays like now. <laughs> so. I will call one of those two places probably pretty soon and get something scheduled and that'll take a big load off my mind. The bladder infections are still mostly gone. I'll still get one here and there. I have been absolutely terrible about remembering to drink water. I've been drinking way too much coffee and not nearly enough water. So it is totally understandable that I'm getting here and there. It's like very rarely, like maybe once every week or two I'll get one. I've actually been shocked that I haven't gotten more with how bad I've been about drinking water. So I have been really trying to remember the water thing. It, it was also another thing that in the first trimester, just chugging water would make me feel like I was going to throw up also. So that's like similar to the pills. I'm still like not wanting to drink water because I feel like it'll make me feel sick. But my lips have been so chapped and I just, I, I need to get back on that also. But the bladder infections are good enough that if I feel one coming, I can literally just chug like a quart of water and that will flush out. I don't even always have to take demands, which is awesome. That's like such a good sign. Sometimes if I'm not feeling like chugging a quart of water, I will just take a, cup, a few pills of demanos with some water and that's kind of a lazy way to do it, but I can flush it out with water, which is really great. I have been having a lot more energy lately, which is so exciting. I've been having less nausea. I'm pretty much 
no nausea unless I'm thinking about taking my prenatal pills and all that stuff. <laughs> and even then, I think it's fake nausea. I think it's all in my head. I'm pretty sure I'm fine at this point. But I've been so glad that I've had more energy because we've just been so busy. If I was still like tired all the time, I don't even know what I would do. I'd be so frustrated that I couldn't like help stuff and I couldn't move stuff. And it would just be more infuriating. So I'm very excited that that lined up to me getting more energy with when I just started working like non-stop 24-7. <laughs> Let me show you guys the bump now. Here's my new maternity jeans. We have just this stretchy panel right here on the side instead of just the whole tummy panel, which is actually really nice. I like that I can still wear these jeans. Like if my shirt's a little too short, I would rather have a little bit of skin showing than like some weird colored panel. I never feel like I can just wear a shirt that's not like just really long like this one. So there's the bump. It's getting pretty big. So that is pretty much all for this 14 week pregnancy update. I am going to film my 16 week pregnancy update now because I also have notes for the next two weeks after this one. <laughs> I'm sorry this update was late, but you know, life happens. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about all the stuff I've got going on lately. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and head over to my blog and subscribe to my email list. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time. Bye.